the initial reason or the initial idea to design and use STEM was um, the feeling that we are not at the end with our STEM that are available today. We all know that the stamps today works quite well. They um, have very, very good survival rates. We are coming close to 95% after 20 years. Um, but there is always, every stem, every design has some disadvantages. And the main disadvantage is operation technique. It's sometimes quite difficult. Some stems have a higher periprosthetic or in, intraoperative fracture rate. Um, some stems have a higher rate of malpositioning in the femur and so on and so on. And then we had the idea um, to combine advantages of different designs and to um, find a solution, a new visit, that means a new design which combines all the advantages that all the different stems has. We started in uh, 2008. 2008 was a more quite long planning period. So we were sitting together, we analyzed what designs we have on the market, which designs are really successful, um, what is the most easiest design regarding the implantation technique and so on and so on. And that needs a long time. And then we started with some models and we discussed the models with the engineers, with um, the mechanics of the factory. Um, we um, discussed it, we looked after the literature and so on and so on. We modified it many, many times and at the end we had the first trials. And that needed, I would say, in total, only this planning phase needed almost three years. In our eyes and in my opinion um, the anatomically shaped stem has two main advantages in comparison to all other especially the straight stems. And this advantage means that the anatomically shaped stem is following the shape of the proximal femur and that means that you can implant it without touching the greater trochanter. And we all know the situation when we try to position a straight stem into the femur that we have to work into the greater trochanter and sometimes we harm the gluteus medius. And this is a problem because we all know that the gluteus medius is the most important muscle. I call it always the motor of the hip. It is the main stabilizer of the pelvis. And um, this is for me the biggest advantage. The second advantage, which has something to do with, I mean, the positioning of the stem into the femur and which, which has a lot to do with avoidance of malpositioning is that an um, anatomically shaped stem is, I would call it, self-centralizing. That means it centralizes itself into the femur. For the surgeons, it's this is my experience of the first, um, I would say, almost 100 stamps that I have done now during the last six months. Um, this is my personal experience, is that this, the operation technique is much more simple, much more simple, and much more easier means quicker, safer, and easier. Especially for the young surgeon, 
the surgeon, okay, he always has have to know what he is doing. But mm, I would say the malpositioning rate, especially when the young surgeons are starting, and the intraoperative or even periprosthetic peri fracture rate is lower, also for young surgeons. The anchoring of the bone, and this is at this moment, it's a little bit theory, of course, because we have no long-term data. Um, but the theory is that the main advantage uh, regarding the anchoring of the stem into the bone is the better rotational stability. Mm -hmm. And this is my hope that we, uh, due to this, that we get due to this fact that the rotational stability is better lower uh, loosening rates and better survival rates. Yeah, for the clinic, for the hospitals, it has also many advantages um, from, my, from my point of view, um, which um, are explainable with all the advantages that the prosthesis has. If you have a lower fracture rate, if you have a, quicker uh, surgery time, if you have more, safe, uh, more safety, if you have uh, a better stabilization into the bone, then of course the revision rate um, is declining and this leads to the fact that the hospital um, is getting a better reputation, higher reputation and it has not to pay for all the expensive revisions. I started with the SPCL um, six, seven months ago and I did almost 100 cases now. Um, and to be honest, I'm a little bit surprised. And um, that means I'm positive surprised. I was really uh, not sure that the implantation technique is so simple, is so bone and tissue preserving and sparing that um, I never experienced before with any other stem.